thank you for your patience as I carefully position my sore body. I'm doing better every day, thank goodness. Let me do what I didn't want to do, which is reposition. My bum is still sore enough to justify bringing this pillow. And even when my bum ceases to be sore, I think I will keep up this practice because it's quite nice. I have nothing against keeping my body as comfortable as possible. I am all in favor of a magnificent and enjoyable physical experience. I am all in favor. I'm not waiting on a lady, I'm just waiting on a friend. A Course in Miracles manual for teachers. What are the characteristics of God's teachers? Trust, the development of trust, honesty, tolerance, gentleness, joy, defenselessness, generosity, and what do you know patience thank you for your patience and thank you for still being here those who are certain of the outcome can afford to wait and wait without anxiety Patience is natural to the teacher of God. All he sees is a certain outcome at a time perhaps unknown to him as yet, but not in doubt. The time will be as right as is the answer. And this is true for everything that happens now or in the future. The past, as well, held no mistakes. Nothing that did not serve to benefit the world as well as him to whom it seemed to happen. Oh, what bad fortune! Well, actually... Oh, what good fortune! Well, actually... Oh, what bad fortune! Well, actually... Thank you for your patience while we wait for the wind to die down, otherwise we'll have this annoying wind interference. The past as well held no mistakes. Nothing that did not serve to benefit the world as well as him to whom it seemed to happen. Perhaps it was not understood at the time. Even so, the teacher of God is willing to reconsider all his past decisions if they are causing pain to anyone. Patience. Thank you for your patience as we wait till the wind dies down. Patience is natural to those who trust. Sure of the ultimate interpretation of all things in time no outcome already seen or yet to come can cause them fear. Patience. 
Thank you for your patience. Thank you for still being here. Oof. I wanted to share two little stories about how things always seem to work out one way or another. Thank you for your patience as we wait for the wind to die down. I had been trail riding for weeks and I realized that it would probably be smart to bring my cell phone on these rides in case, God forbid, anything would happen. The day before my accident, I found this lovely pouch, big enough to have some treats in here. I now have a treat for myself, but on the trail I like to have some treats for my horses, just for training purposes. And a separate pouch just big enough for my cell phone that I didn't bring here for some strange reason but the very first time I wore this pouch was on the trail ride that ended up in me being launched and this allowed me to call for help to stay in touch with my friends who walked home to find the horses. Thank you for your patience as we wait for the wind to die down. So even though this bad thing happened, I was being prepared already in advance. Isn't that amazing? And then the second story, I'm also wearing this shirt. When my son was still in school in Erin, I had to drive every day to bring him and pick him up. And one day I was at the school saying, oh, hey, where are you? And he was, oh, shoot, I forgot to tell you, I need to be picked up in another hour. There was not enough time to go back home because if 10 minutes later I would have to come back anyway. Uh, why burn the gas? So I was stuck in Erin. Now Erin has a tiny little secondhand store, a thrift store, and I decided to kill time, which is an awful, awful concept and thing to do. <laughs> Apart from it being obviously impossible. So I went browsing and I saw this shirt. I liked the Mandela, I liked the bit of bling in it, and I bought it. I could even afford it because it was two dollars. It made me feel better about having spent this time in Erin. And then only after I came home and showed my shirt to my husband, did I realize what it said on the back. I am fully supported by the universe. A Course in Miracles says a very similar thing. It says in one of the lessons, I am sustained by the love of God. It's remarkable that I can put on this shirt and take it off given my ordeal, but wow, every day is better, every day is better. It is Monday, July 18, 2022, and I am recovering from a bad fall off a horse. I'm doing well, remarkably well. I had a conversation this morning with my friend whose horse it was that threw me and she was feeling so bad for me. She went back and looked for my glasses again but couldn't find them. They could be anywhere. Uh, there was brush like this 
and who knows? Who knows where glasses fly when a Bronco starts bucking? She offered to pay half of my new, new glasses that I now have to buy. I am fully supported by the universe. She admitted that she felt bad because after all this was her horse and we were riding because she really wanted to be out there riding and I was facilitating it. So of course she felt partly responsible. God bless her soul. And I must know at least a minion of lawyers some of which would be trigger happy and chomping at the bit to squeeze some money out of her, which is not my intention at all. I was just very grateful that she offered to pay part of my glasses, which I know she can afford. She's not wealthy. This was a very generous offer. And a willingness to carry some of the burden that this situation caused without blame, without self fluctuation, but just saying, hey, we experienced, let me wait for the wind again, thank you for your patience. We experienced an unfortunate event together that had some negative consequences like feeling physically bruised and buttered and losing property Boop, my glasses that I just had purchased new uh, a week before because these glasses broke I'm just gonna do the rest of this oh yeah I need to reset because things still hurt oi oi Not too bad that I can do this, that I can sit in lotus position like this without excruciating pain is holy moly, very good. I do appreciate the pillow under my sore bum. I am fully supported by the universe and what I truly need is provided for me. Sometimes through friends, sometimes through just whatever, whatever, whatever. What I truly need is being provided for. And when it is not showing up, I know that I don't truly need it right this instant. And that is another, I guess, attitude based on faith that I am provided for, that I am sustained by the love of God or like my shirt says, fully supported by the universe. Once you live within that faith, patience becomes natural. Because you have faith or trust, which is what all the characteristics of God is built upon. I will link the trust video and the development of trust right here. Thank you for your patience as we wait for the wind to die down.
when I trust that everything will work out eventually and that everything truly has some purpose and meaning in my life, even if I can see it at the time, then I can rest assured that everything will indeed work out for the best. And when I rest assured, I can be patient. Patient and persistent.